Everybody standing for my for the Marshall here at Hard Rock Hell Day 2 with the guys from Sister. Welcome. Thank you. Looking forward to tonight's show? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to have you been in Wales for the first time. Well, this is it, and obviously, is this the first time um, at a festival in the UK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen, <laughs> I guess so. Have you only just arrived here as well? I yeah, we came pretty much like one hour, one hour ago. Right, so you've not had a chance to see the setup. Uh, we have to so. find our way to the stage. Oh, no, right, that might be interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> End up in the forest in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Now, obviously, as we said off camera before, people may not have heard of you at the moment, but you've just been done. Has it just finished the UK tour with Wednesday 13? We only played one show with the Wednesday here in, in the UK. We had like a European tour for you one got yeah. So people that don't know of you will, will obviously know, if they're music connoisseurs will know of Wednesday 13 from the Murder Dolls. Yeah, so if you two could be given such an opportunity, I mean for you guys, how, how was it playing with such an established artist? Different from all the they're, 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 they're great guys, and we enjoy being on stage with them. And, uh, so at first, like we played with them in the UK last yeah. March, and we were kind of like astonished that the, the crew was so great and like the great guys. Yeah, it was just like a friendly atmosphere. Yeah, it yeah, it was good from the beginning. So it's always easy to tour with bands that are like that because sometimes we meet kind of like players that well, you don't get along with or yeah, it's one it's of like those a long like, tour. Like yeah, because <laughs> we, we, we know that when you do go on long tours for European tours, it can be a, a, an animosity, a bit of friction between the bands, and you don't want that. You want to be able to get on and, and like, almost call them family because you have such a good time. And I think sometimes it can be lost. Yeah, but some people like if it is, of course it's stressful being on tour. I mean, like shit happens all the way, all oh, yes. day long. So it's, it's just nice to hang around with well. people that are easy to go get along with. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Like handles problems with ease. Yeah. Yeah. But we have helped each other out with yeah, sorry stuff and always. Which is how it should be because when you look at what the music industry was like 10, 15 years ago, there was an awful lot more money in there. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now you've got to help each other out. If you don't help each other out, no one's going to do anything. No. At the end of the day, you're in it for the same reasons as every other band in it for the love of the music. Yeah. You don't care about the money. As long as you get to play what you want to play, when you can play it, and get out there, that's, that's the important thing to do. Yeah, have a great time doing it. Exactly. And not everyone gets the opportunity. No, no. So and we have kind of like good offers from, I guess we have a good booker or something. But we've decent fans so far. So. Yeah, so things are looking up now. Um, have you got an album out at the moment? Oh, the EP. debut was released in, in 2011. Right. And, you've and been then the next album will be released in the beginning of next year. Right, so it's all recorded? Yeah, it's done. Oh, really? What the title of the album will be? It's not official yet though, but uh, it's going to be out soon. It's alright, because Andy, Andy will understand. Andy understands. He knows me, he's fine. It has something to do no, with, uh, no, don't with uh, birds. Don't, don't worry, I get, I get myself in enough trouble with, uh, with, with, with a lot of management, so it's fine. Right. I always ask, because you never know. It's and, a bird title, and then I can you, give you that. And then you get in trouble when you go back and see him later. Yeah, and yeah, go, yeah, you yeah, shouldn't yeah. have said that one. Yeah, yeah. So, when you are set, are you actually playing some tracks off the new album? Is it a nice mix that you're trying to show, showcase? Yeah, we we'll play two songs from the album. Uh, one from the single, the Rock Action cover. Yeah. Uh, we'll use as a B-side. And then uh, I guess like three or four old songs. Uh, so it's a, it's a nice good mix. Yeah. yeah. New songs going down well? What? Yeah. The new songs going down well? Yeah. You seem to get a good reaction. Yeah. Yeah, we've got reactions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction's good. It's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, actually, it's been going great. So, when you've been on tour as much as we do, I, I guess you can say, and you play the songs from the first album for it's like two and a half years, it's, it's fun to play some new songs. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not that you get bored of playing the old songs, it's just that you need to freshen it up a little bit. Yeah, and, and if you maybe like if you don't play that song for a while, you maybe appreciate it more and it's not really. Because, because it's been a couple of years, excuse me. Do you find that you're actually able to enjoy being on stage playing the old stuff? Because like muscle memory can kick in with a lot of bands. You know, where you don't have to think about where the next riff's going to be, the next chord change. You could just kind of stand up there and actually enjoy what's in front of you. Do you find that yeah, at the moment? Yeah, of course. Yeah, totally. You have, I guess you have your favourite songs. 
Spell slot. Opening, but we tried to like mix it up, so we tried to we, we do some changes in the songs as well. Maybe like, uh, I don't know how to call it in English now, but uh, yeah, maybe we tried to like do just do different. Yeah, you, again, you, you interpretations of the songs. Yeah, because like you said, every time you play the songs, you play them so many times. Yeah. yeah. You need to freshen up just to keep your minds in that same, yeah, yeah, same yeah. mindset. And obviously the fans, when they hear it as done a little different, it can get them a bit more excited. Yeah, they want to keep it fresh. Exactly. So when the album's out next year, um, what what's the what are the plans? Is it kind of tour, tour, tour? Or are you going to be able to, or is your management rapidly able to like sit back and kind of enjoy the new album? Uh, let's go. On the road, as fast as possible. Co yeah. so, is that where you love being, just on the road? Yeah. Different, yeah, different, different places. It's kind of like how we work. Yeah. I suppose, yeah, because my day job's in a hospital, so yeah. I enjoy my day job, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I want to be in But I sit, I, I work in a hospital, that's, that's my place, but that's where I spend most of my time. You guys, it's on a bus, on a tour bus, running around yeah. everywhere. Sitting on asses in a, in a van or yeah, very a glamorous. Machine. Just sit around on a tour bus, just waiting for about five hours a day. And, yeah. yeah. Now this is, is, is of course something we, we want to do, especially now with the new album out. We want to do like a tour by ourselves, maybe yeah. the headline, because we're pretty much just open for other bands uh, the last two years. But you're getting the reputation now. That's the main thing. You, the yeah, hard yeah. work you put in, you're starting to show. Yeah. Same last year. And then fingers crossed, if you can get a, a tour. With you headlining, the hard work has paid off. Yeah, I suppose that's that's the main thing you guys to show how much hard work you put in. To say that's our name up there. Yeah. This is us <laughs> every night. It would be fun it. to go outside of Europe as well because we toured Europe like a uh, run around for, for a few years now. So it would be good to go to go where, okay. Right. So from that, where would you like to go to? I would love South America. I yeah. would, uh, I heard it's a riot over there, so it's kind of crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I mean, it's, it's one of those that uh, rock in Rio uh, every year. They've started to show it on uh, YouTube live every year, and you yeah. see the mass crowds yeah, it's out there. Yeah, crazy, it's right. Um, we've got, we've got um, a notes of bands over in Colombia, and the Colombian scene is tremendous as well. So I think South America is one of those where I think it's got to be experienced, but I think logistically wise and cost. Yeah. If you're going to go over there, you might as well go over there for six months, mm -hmm. nine months, do South America, try and get some North America, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just enjoy it. Kind of like going to go into Australia as well. Uh, I don't know why. The most just expensive. Think I was going to no, say no. the most furthest point yeah. <laughs> you could possibly go to. And the States and Japan, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah but I suppose no, it's, but it's yeah. one of these. If it's if it's an aspiration, you know how hard you've got, how hard you've worked to get to this point. You now know what you need to get. That next level, yeah. and because you enjoyed it, it's not like I've got to do it again. It's more like let's go and show what we can do. Yeah, and I think that's the thing: it's having the passion to go relentlessly as you're doing, as it's your day job, constantly revising your songs, learning them, writing new material, getting them to the standard you want to be, and showcasing them. Yeah. At the end of the day, you've got a good label behind you. That is giving you everything you need. You get in the time. They have, uh, yeah, they, they have their connections over the world. So they certainly do. Uh, and again, uh, it's just a big family being part of them. So it's one of those. Yeah, it's a cool area. I love the people that are working there. I mean, it's just like a bunch of guys and girls that like some music and wants to work with music that they like. Yeah, everyone enjoying themselves, which is yeah. what you've got to be doing. Not a lot of suits. No, no, no. So. Um, my final serious question, I will say, is... <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next one. <laughs> with, with people that haven't seen you or heard of you, in three words, how would you express your live sound? So energetic, raw, fun. Fun, I guess. Yeah. No click, no metronomes. <laughs> well, you see, that's one thing that's we've found recently there's been bands that you go and see and they play to tracks no we and, don't yeah and no, it's, no. it's frustrating 
everything has to be so perfect nowadays, I don't get it. Yeah. It's like, we just want to like perform as you used to do. Well, that's how it should be. All you want to do is, again, it covers up so many things. If you play to a, to a track or whatever, it's not you being you. And if you, you've got to be you on stage, you can't be a puppet. Because well, otherwise... We go with the flow. We don't have like... Uh, Endings that are like solid, like uh, what do you say when you're rhythm in stone or whatever. Yeah, happens. you just you, you, when pretty it much ends like with yeah, it we have a lot to like uh, wait and see what the drummer does. Like, <laughs> there is, uh, oh, yeah. oh, let's go with that. Yeah. yeah, sometimes we fuck it up and sometimes <laughs> it sounds good. But well, at the end of the day, <laughs> it's flow. just you being you. Yeah, yeah, we try to keep it uh, and that's simple. Just, yeah, it's, it's one of those that. You've, you've obviously seen it where there's like a lot of these like X Factor shows and all these people want want to be just singers that just go on and that are just it's, it's all fake and it's it, it annoys me. Yeah. yeah because <laughs> you should. Yeah, we kind of like uh, with this uh, new album we, we, we released though. We, we, it's the same thinking there because yeah. we record it live in the studio, like drum, bass, and uh, rhythm guitar. As the as it should be done. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because yeah. you get, you get a certain energy, don't you, when you're playing together. Like when you're live on stage, you have a certain energy together as a band. Yeah, yeah. Normally, if you go to the studio, you record like the drums first, and then you do the bass, and then the guitar, and then the vocals, and then the back vocals. You don't get that same energy, I feel. You don't get the same vibe, but that live thing is what all the classic metal albums like the 80s used to be, and that's how I feel it should be. We really liked it, the former album, hated the debut album. Uh, there's no, nothing wrong with that, but we can like start by maybe, maybe getting a bit more organic kind of sound. Like, uh, let's go back. It was fun though when we were in the studio. We were like, yeah, this is how it should be done. Yeah. Like, we take a few takes and then we pretty much take one take and hold. Yeah. The whole yeah. So any minor flaw is there for everyone to hear. Yeah, yeah. But again, as we said, you don't want it to be perfect. You need it as it's supposed to be. I like those old, like, the uh, Zeppelin records where you can actually hear, like, it's amazing solos, of course, but you can hear maybe a, a note that is like, yeah, yeah, not so perfectly bent. No. Or, uh, well, I like it, like, but I guess we're a bit far from, like, going back. Uh, yeah. You know, but I've, I've found that a lot of people are doing, are going back to the traditional ways that the way music was, used to be, because even though technology's gone on quite a bit from when they used to record it on the reel to reel, you, but you, people still prefer that you get a nice warmth the way it's recorded rather than just it's a bit hard and cold. Yeah. yeah, you get a bit tired of that plastic perfect exactly. kind of stuff. So I think we're going more backwards now. How it is. Well, I've got to be honest, I'm looking forward to your new album. Yeah, and just uh, last word, I think everything reaches a peak. Like when you go, you can go further that way. Like, uh, I guess it's going to go. But I think it's but for me. I like to listen to albums where they record it as a traditional way, like sort of live. Because it's when I was speaking to bands like right. Side and things. It was <laughs> one of those that they're so passionate about the organic sound. And I think that's the way I prefer my music. The way I like to listen to it. So, I'm, so I'd like, I'd like to uh, when I when I get a copy, I'm going to listen to it and actually appreciate the actual organic nature of it rather than the digital old edge of it. Yeah. So thank you very much, and hopefully we'll catch you guys on stage in a little bit. Yeah, sure. So, Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.